could give me a hand, you know. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'm impressed, really. Seeing you injured like this really makes me stop and think. Yeah, I know what you mean. It makes you think about your mortality. No, actually, I was thinking in the fugitive, how did that one-armed man ever kill anybody? <laughs> Not just that. How do you open a bag of tent chips? Yeah, and what if you wanted to strangle your tenant? Okay, Mom, I'm ready for my driving lesson. Oh, Tiffany, I can't. I promised Mary and I'd help him clean up. The only thing you leave clean around here is the butter dish. Mom, you said when I get my learner's permit, you would let me drive the car. Now, come on, you promised. I also promised your father I'd honor and obey him, and I said that at a church. <laughs> all right, all right. Jackie. Just so my last memory of you can be a pleasant one, could you give me that warm smile you give when you smell biscuits cooking? <laughs> Once a pure time. Before we get started, I just want to say one thing. I'm in the Lexus! Yes! <laughs> okay, I just have to get that out. <clears throat> I did the same thing when your father gave me the keys. <laughs> All right, turn on the ignition. Okay. <laughs> now, what's the first thing you do? Call Rachel to tell her I pick her up at the corner. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> okay. The first thing you do is check the mirrors. Oh, okay. I just remembered something. I don't want to do this. Oh, 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 come on, Mom. I'm just joking. Ha, ha, ha. I release the emergency brake, put my foot on the regular brake, put the car in gear, and check behind me. Now press the accelerator and back out. Okay. Stop the car. Okay. Stop the car. Get out of the car. Step away from the car. Well, see, now I only made one mistake and I knew it right away. Well, the car's all right, but look at Austin's bike. <laughs> now, what if he had been on it? Well, I'm sure he would have been wearing his helmet. <laughs> this is not going to work. You're going to either kill me or I'm going to kill you. Let your father teach you how to drive. Oh, Mommy, if he sees me drive, he'll never buy me a car. Oh, come on, if you don't teach me, who will? <laughs> Thanks for taking me driving, Mary. You are so much better than mom. Because I've never seen Paris. Just pull over. Can I at least drive back home? No. Right to the governor. You're never driving again. <laughs> now, help me fasten my seatbelt. Where's the thingy? Oh, look at that cute guy. Tiffany, watch the arm. Watch the arm. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, sorry. Tiffany, hold on. And you could have killed us. Are you all right? Yeah, but you really embarrassed me in front of that cute guy. You're lucky you're not a hood on him right now. Hold on, let me pull over. Damn, Jackie owns my butt now. No, I own your butt, buddy. You the driver? Yeah, I'm the driver. Who the hell? No. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. Does that sling come with a matching neck brace? <laughs> I'm a professional football player. I got this playing football. And I also believe there are no such thing as accidents, especially when two souls are drawn together by a greater power. Well, that sounds nice, but I think we were drawn together because you and your little girlfriend were having a tickle fest. My girlfriend? She's 15. Maybe I don't want to know anymore. Just give me your insurance information, Mr. Buttafuco. You don't understand. She's the daughter of my tenant. I was teaching her how to drive. What, Ray Charles wasn't available? <laughs> Look, just give me the insurance information, because after all, this was your fault. My fault? None of this would have happened if your brake lights were working. Well, they were working before you smashed into them. And you know what? Forget about the information. I've memorized your license plate. And I've memorized yours, Alex. <laughs> Hope your husband's more reasonable than you are. You sexist jerk. I'm not married. This is my car. I'm Alex. Well, in that case, I'm marrying and I'm not married either. I wonder why. Maybe we should just fill out a police report, hmm? Fine. 
Officer Peterson, LAPD, here to protect and serve. You're a cop? <clears throat> what are you, undercover? Because if you are, that's one hell of a disguise. <laughs> You'll be hearing from me. Can I call you? What's your number? 911. Ooh, baby's got backup. <laughs> Is that a new video game? Yeah. Erica gave it to me. Oh, you mean she loaned it to you? No. She gave it to me. I told you she liked me. And I suppose now you like her? Eh, she's okay. I like the video game better. <laughs> Austin, it's not right to accept gifts from people you don't even like. You kept the new car Dad gave you. Well, I liked your father, Austin, especially the day he gave me the new car. Now, this video game has to go back. Huh? Hi, Mom. We're back. Oh, how'd it go? Great, but we got in a little accident. What'd you hit this time, bite killer? <laughs> I wasn't driving. Marion was. It was nothing, just a little fender bender. You can hardly see the damage. <laughs> Jackie, please, how could you be so attached to an inanimate object? Hey, if you hadn't dated in two years, there'd be a few inanimate objects you'd be quite fond of, too. <laughs> you gotta pay for this. Just chill, it was the other driver's fault. Give me that information, I'm calling that insurance company right now. I'm gonna find the person who did this to you. <laughs> before that road warrior gets here. <laughs> what are you all dressed up for? Alex. <laughs> I take it she's attractive? Oh, yes. In fact, she's one of L.A.'s finest. Hi, Mom. Hi, Marion. Austin, what is that in your wagon? It's a 13-inch, high-definition, cable-ready color television. <laughs> Can one of you give me a hand with it? Austin, where did you get this? Erica, I'm glad you made me give the video game back, Mom. I like the TV much better. I had a girl give me a TV once. She gave it to me out the window as I was leaving. We'll deal with this later. You going upstairs. <sighs> Alex, it's good to see you. Why, I'm here to sue you. I know. And after you lose, I'm going to really look forward to consoling you. <laughs> You're relentless, aren't you? When I see a beautiful woman, I find it hard to put the brakes on. I know. That's exactly why I'm suing you. <laughs> Ms. Peterson, I presume? I'll be representing Marion in this action. Are you a lawyer? I'm with a firm. <laughs> now, let's get to it. You're guilty. <laughs> Who is she? This is Jackie. I'm her children's caregiver. You're a nanny? Who's your pool man, Ironhead Hayward? Hey, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Unless it's driving the family car. Then it's not paying attention. <laughs> now I'm just going to sit here and wait quietly for my lawyer. He's meeting me here. She's got an attorney. A real one. So what? I was married to an attorney. I've been through divorce court. And I use the same car wash as Judge Ito. <laughs> be my lawyer. I hope he's ready for a good fight. Alex, what do you say we forget about the lawyers? You pay for the damages and I autograph a football for you. The only autograph I want from you is on a check. <sighs> Hello, Jackie. Milton, this is not a good time. Go away. Oh. I'm sorry, Alex. That's my ex-husband. He's deceitful, conniving, and unscrupulous. I'm glad to hear that. He's my lawyer. Great. She's got a legal eagle and I got the bird from Fruit Loops. Oh, come on, Milton. Stop being such a big old baby. During the divorce, when I ran over your foot after court, you didn't make this big a deal. I was happy. I got to keep the house. Oh, yeah. Oh! Would you two like some time to yourselves? No, thank you. All right, let's get this thing over with. 
Now, Marion, if you'll just sign these papers here. I'll take a look at these. <laughs> you know, Alex, despite our differences, I think we have a lot in common. Yeah, we both drive around in dented cars. Oh, that wasn't my car I was driving. I'm more of a Ferrari kind of guy. You have a Ferrari? No, but that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Why do I keep talking to you? Milton, this says the accident was completely Marion's mm -hmm. fault mm -hmm. and that he is responsible for all damages, physical therapy, legal mm -hmm. fees, loss of income, mm -hmm. and emotional stress. What stress? Uh, Jackie, my client will be seen driving a rented car. This is L.A. That could be very stressful. Oh, come on. What does she know about stress? She can wear pleats. That's true. You would look great in pleats. Thank you. I go to the gym a lot. Me too. We should go together sometime. Have a protein shake and a fat-free muffin after. My treat. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> We're supposed to be sewing their pants off, not charming their pants off. Now, everybody, calm down. I'd like to call my first witness. Witness? I didn't know anything about a witness. That's because she's a surprise witness. Don't you watch Matlock? <laughs> Tiffany! <laughs> Tiffany, why are you wearing that neck brace? I'm trying to get us $2.5 million. <laughs> Daddy, I, I wasn't I wasn't driving. Oh, I know, sweetheart, but I'm still not buying you a car. Well, take that thing off. Come on, Tiffany. Just tell us what you remember, sweetheart. Well, I believe Brown Sugar was playing on the radio. You know, the one by D'Angelo. The accident, Tiffany. You know, cars crashing, steam rising, the whole thing not being my fault. Okay. I was helping Marion put on his seatbelt when we passed this... Really cute guy, Jaggy. And I turned around to check out Tiffany. And wham, we were in an accident. Then you didn't actually see anything? No, he was wearing long, oversized sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, go to your room. Okay. Bye, Daddy. Bye. So, Jaggy, that's your big surprise witness? <laughs> it's just part of a bigger strategy that will become more apparent. Once I think of it. Excuse me, Milton, but do I have to pay for the time you spend bickering with your ex-wife and child? Uh, perhaps we should have a third neutral party decide who's at fault here. We don't need a third party. It was her fault. I know it and she knows it. It was not my fault. I wasn't even moving. Uh, uh, Alex, don't try to find logic here. He's just a football player and she's a woman who once cut the crotches out of all my suits. I told you it wasn't me. It was the dry cleaners. <laughs> you know, Marion, you might want to retain the services of a real attorney. Don't let him intimidate you, Marion. I put him through law school. I paid for everything he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, Marion, we'll see you in court. <laughs> Come on, Alex. You leaving? I thought maybe we could go out for a drink, come back and sit in the hot tub and, you know, talk about the accident. I'm sorry, Marion, but that's going to have to wait until I sue your pants off. We're going to lose, right, Jackie? <laughs> No, he isn't. Can I help you? Oh. Well, could you give him this? It's a digital audio tape system. I hope he doesn't already have one. <laughs> oh, you must be Erica. Come on in, sweetie. Are you his big sister? Oh, God bless you, child. That's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone said to me in two years. Would you like surround sound for your TV? I can get it for below cost. <laughs> Erica. How can you afford all these expensive gifts? It doesn't cost me anything. My dad is Wacky Jack from the Appliance Shack. <laughs> I love his commercials, especially the one when he dresses up like Zorro and slashes all the prices. Well, that's not really my dad in the commercials. He's the brains behind the operation. You know, like Austin. <laughs> you really like Austin, don't you? He's such a hunk. <laughs> Austin Warren. My son wears glasses. They make him look just like Clark Kent. <laughs> I think so, too. But you know, Erica, you don't have to give presents to people for them to like you. All you have to do is be patient, and they'll like you for you. 